All right, so today I'm gonna take you guys along with me for a little bit of a journey. Um, we're gonna go, well, check out these things. So I've been flying drones for about three years now, uh, since about 2017. It's been a really cool part of my business. It's been a cool part of um, being able to help the church and um, and and be able to, to kind of have fun, you know, doing different things. Today I'm gonna show you the two drones that um, filmmakers normally use to shoot stuff. There's two different types of drones that I wanna talk about today. So let's just get into it, yeah? So the main components of a drone are three things. So one, you have the drone itself. Two, you have the controller, or how you move the drone, right? And then three, you have a screen, or in my case, some goggles that you look through in order to see where the drone is or where the drone is pointing. All right, so the first drone that I'm gonna talk about is a cinematic drone, that's what I would call it. This is a drone that is normally used for filmmaking and can be used for real estate or even surveying. This is probably uh, a very common one that you see. This is called a DJI. Mavic Pro. Uh, this is the Pro 2 um, and um, it's a boss. I love this drone so much. Um, it looks amazing and um, when you think about this drone, the main difference between any other drone is that this is like, it's like the first time you opened a smartphone. <laughs> um, it does everything for you. So with this drone, I can leave it hovering in the air and it just sits there. It'll stay in the same place because GPS will tell it to do that. Uh, it'll keep its altitude, it'll keep its roll and pitch axis. It folds up so it's nice and sleek and slender. Uh, it can fit in a backpack um, and uh, it's just a really cool drone. So it's got, obviously it's a quadcopter. It's got four arms and four, four propellers. And then in the front, it's got a camera on a three axis gimbal. Um, and so you can see it's not on right now, but when, it, when it's on, it will level itself and make it so that this is, is never shaky. It's always perfectly smooth footage. And it's just very automated. So if I try to run into a wall, it will hopefully <laughs> stop me. Uh, it has sensors on every side of the drone. And um, well, it's pretty easy to fly. This is the controller that I use. Now with DJI Mavics, what you can do is you can actually use your phone and you can plug it into a controller. This, however, is the DJI Smart Controller. And I love this thing. Um, it makes it so much easier not to have to use an app on your phone or worry if your phone is charged or not. Um, you can just use this and, um, okay, 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 okay. So you can just use this to control the drone and to see exactly what it's showing you on this screen right here. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So in order to get this one going, you gotta first put it on the ground. You start it by pressing the button twice and holding it down. And then you'll see as the motors kind of calibrate, and you also see in the front, the camera's calibrating as well. And that sound means it's ready to go. So now I can turn on my controller. So come over here. And I can press this button, hold on to that, and you can see as my controller comes to life. And as it comes on, I can press go. It automatically detects the drone. And then I press go fly. So as you can see on here, I can take off. And that sound right there is <laughs> the drone telling me there's something close by. So now I can fly away. So let's go ahead and do a shot. So right now I'm at my church property. So let's try and get a shot of the church, a real nice sweeping shot. So from here, we're gonna start from the left side over here. We're gonna start panning to the right. And we're gonna kind of do a parallax shot of the church. So here's my church right there. Let's get up a little bit. And I'll just show you this footage here. Here you can see 
as I'm flying to the right, and then I'm panning to the left in order to get um, a parallax shot. So you can see super smooth, super easy, very nice. You can do a million different things with this drone. So if I ever wanted to track something, I could do that super easily as well. So right here, you can see that on the screen that I'm seeing, you have my car and myself. And so the drone knows to, to look for things to track. So it's not gonna try to track a tree, it's not gonna try to track any stop sign or anything like that. Um, but if I click on myself right here, then it automatically grabs me. You see that box? And then if I start to move, um, let me start recording here so you guys can see. If I start to move, it'll just start tracking. See, right now it's just panning because it doesn't have to move. But if I were to run towards the drone, it would start to back up. And now there's trees behind it, so it's gonna stop. It'll just track me no matter what. I can lose it if I were to run behind something and it were to lose um, it were to lose the, the vision of me, uh, but generally it does an amazing job of tracking. So what I did here is I'm literally doing nothing on the drone. I just set it to follow me and then here I set it to orbit me. So it's just gonna orbit me in a 360 and follow me along the way. So I decided to drive in the church field, see how well it did. And it looks pretty amazing, don't you think? I mean, I'm literally not having to do anything here. And then if you watch here, I'm kind of matching the drone's turn radius with the car. So the car always stays centered in the shot, but the rest of the world is just turning super fast. Really cool shot. So that is my cinematic drone. I use that for real estate. I'll show you some of that right now. I've also used it for some special projects. A lot of people like drone footage because it just gives a new perspective to a property and especially large buildings. All right, so the second type of drone that I have is a racing drone. <laughs> it's a lot different. It's a lot smaller than the DJI and um, well, it's a lot faster. This drone right here probably maxes out at about 80 miles per hour. Now, there's a lot of different variations when it comes to racing drones. This one I built myself. You buy a frame, you buy all the parts, and you put it together yourself. You can buy ready-to-fly kits as well. Uh, it's a little bit easier to start, but then when you break something, you might not know how to fix it. So it can kind of become a problem. Now this one has the same three parts as the DJI. The DJI had the drone, the screen, and the controls, right? This one has the drone, the screen, and the controller. Now there are a lot of differences between this and a cinematic video drone. One being that there are two cameras that I put on this. So you can see on the top, I have a 3D printed mount for a GoPro. So I put my GoPro right into there, and then I'm able to film HD on my GoPro while I'm flying this drone at whatever speed I want to. This camera down here is an analog feed. One of the important things about this drone, which is changing now in 2020, but this runs off of an analog signal. So this camera looks like a really horrible security camera. It gives me an immediate feed from the drone so that I can react and move the drone how I want to. But it does not give me a good, good video for uh, projects or um, for a job that I'm doing. So for that, I really need a high quality GoPro. So what are the uses for this drone? Well, one, it's fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to fly. Um, I think of it like skateboarding. I mean, you go out and you can plan different tricks that you want to do or you know you just want to try new things and it's an adrenaline rush for sure <laughs> um, whenever you fly this thing and you crash this thing and you are up in the air you know 300 feet um, it's insane to have that feeling of flight it's almost like you're a bird flying through the trees it's amazing and so much fun and as you get better you get to do so many more things um, it's just super super cool this specific uh, drone is a five inch racer so five inches meaning that the arms are five inches the propellers are five inches it's just the size of the drone all right so how do you make money with drones then well with racing drones 
So um, imagine this. So let's go ahead and start up. Imagine someone's hired you to uh, do like a, a, a fly-in, like just through their property, right? They want, to, they want you to show kind of everything. So let's see this house in the front. Can I just show that? Beautiful, let's go around the fire truck. This is the first fire truck from our neighborhood, from our area. Super cool. And then we can kind of come around and just reveal the church. So go up high. Reveal the church property. Come back around. That would be an amazing social media kind of um, little 30 second video showing the church, showing people what they can expect. They could even input it into like a welcome video or something. In fact, I might just do that this week. So it's just a really cool way to kind of show an area um, very quickly and easily and smoothly and beautifully. Um, so there's a lot of people that are looking for videos like this because it's, it's a new kind of unique perspective that DJI drones, like regular cinematography drones can't really do. Um, and so at least not do well. Um, so it's kind of an interesting thing, um, but it's a great way that you could pick up extra jobs um, or make money doing drone stuff. Now this is a three inch drone. More commonly, this is called a Cinewoop. So this is the same premise. It's an analog camera. It's got four arms and four propellers. It's got the same internals basically. And then on the top, you put the GoPro, just like the other one. The big difference between this one is that it's a little bit smaller. It's easier to fly indoors. I could use this to do a whole bunch of stuff that I couldn't use this one for. However, it's not as fast. So if I need to do something fast, like chase a car, uh, I need to use the five inch drone. But this one is really great for a lot of other stuff and it gets really, really smooth shots. It's a little bit too windy outside for me to show you uh, out there, uh, but in here is a perfect place as well. So this is my church. So I'm just gonna fly around and show you exactly what it could look like in a house or a warehouse or a factory or whatever you're trying to show, um, an event, stuff like that. So uh, should be pretty cool. Um, here we go. I've got my battery on top. I've got my GoPro ready and set to go. So yeah, she should be good to fly. So I'll start in the front out here and I'll go ahead and get set up for the shot and going. Back out here, we're gonna go in the kids area.
and then back to the beginning and we could go out that door right there if it was open all right so those are my drones um let me know what you think in the comments below please like subscribe share this video if you have anybody that's interested in drones just shoot me a message let me know and i'd love to talk to you guys about it um, if you'd like to get into it, I'll, I'd love to give you some advice and, um, and help you out to get into the hobby. It's super, super fun, and maybe it can even become a career for you. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. I can't get enough of this drug that they call love I need. From above, your wings wider than a dove. I need you, I need you. Won't you take me home and give me wings to fly? We can be alone in the castle in the sky. We can run away and leave this world behind. Please just take me home to a castle in the sky. Castle in the sky. Castle in the sky, castle in the sky.